Hi, my name is Surush Nasiriani, and I'll be presenting our work on augmenting reinforcement learning with behavior primitives for diverse manipulation tasks. This is joint work with my collaborators at the UT Austin Robot Perception and Learning Lab. In recent years, deep reinforcement learning has enabled impressive capabilities in robotics, such as learning dexterous manipulation and learning to walk in unstructured environments. Despite these success stories, reinforcement learning algorithms continue to struggle in learning long horizon manipulation tasks. To illustrate, consider the task of unloading a dishwasher, which involves multiple stages with intricate behaviors. Typical reinforcement learning methods attempt to learn this task by performing exploration with low-level motor actions. For long horizon tasks like this one, these low-level low motor actions unfortunately present a prohibitively large exploration space that makes learning impractical. To that end, we ask, how can we address this exploration burden? Our key insight is that most manipulation tasks can be decomposed into a sequence of commonly recurring behavior primitives which serve as the building blocks for manipulation. Examples of these primitives can be found from decades-long robotics research such as grasping, motion planning, and movement primitives. These primitives benefit from temporal abstraction, reusability and modularity, and are robust to variations. Now, given the utility of these behavior primitives, how can we integrate these primitives with existing reinforcement learning algorithms to learn long horizon tasks? We address this question with a practical framework called Manipulation Primitive Augmented Reinforcement Learning, or MAPLE. We provide an overview of our framework. First, we equip MAPLE with a heterogeneous library of behavior primitives that serve as the building blocks for manipulation tasks. In our framework, we consider these primitives as functional APIs that take input parameters instantiating their action execution, such as the end effect or pose for a grasping primitive. In addition to these primitives, we incorporate an additional atomic primitive dedicated to performing low-level motor actions, allowing the agent to fill in any missing gaps that cannot be fulfilled by the other primitives. Equipped with these primitives, we perform reinforcement learning, with our primitives serving as the underlying action space. At each decision-making step, the agent selects which primitive to use and how to use it. Consequently, the selected primitive is executed, the agent receives feedback from the environment, and the process repeats. Through this process, the agent is able to compose primitives to effectively solve long-horizon manipulation tasks. Now that we have described our method, we perform empirical evaluations on a diverse suite of simulated manipulation tasks as part of the RoboSuite framework. We evaluate Maple against a set of five baselines and show the average task success rate across all tasks. Notably, these baselines include Atomic, a method that only employs low-level motor actions, and Maple Non-Atomic, a self-baseline of our method that excludes low-level motor actions. We see that Maple significantly outperforms the baselines, achieving an average task success rate of 90%. To gain further insight, we visualize trajectories from various baselines on the peg insertion task. First, we see that the atomic baseline is unable to make progress past the initial stages of the task. The non-atomic self-baseline also falls short as the non-atomic primitives are not expressive enough to perform the contact-rich insertion phase. In contrast, our method is able to leverage non-atomic primitives in conjunction with the atomic primitive to solve the task. As our behavior primitives offer high-level action abstractions, our policies can directly transfer to the real world. Here, we consider a real-world real cleaning task where the robot must store objects away. We model the task with a digital twin of the real-world task, train Maple in the digital twin environment, and then execute the resulting policy in the real world. In summary, we've presented Maple, a learning framework that incorporates heterogeneous behavior primitives to effectively learn long-horizon manipulation tasks. Please visit our webpage for additional details. Thank you.